So here we have the Vauxhall Astra on a 10 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boots and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. We have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauge in the middle at the top. And beneath that, the trip computer, which includes the total miles of this car. They are 95,889. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have cruise control. And over on the right-hand side, we have stereo controls for the car. The stereo itself is over in the centre just here and the screen um, directly above it. As you can see, this car has got FM and AM radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. You can do that via the CD player. You can also do it via the auxiliary input if you connect up an auxiliary device. Uh, the settings for those are just here. So radio, CD and auxiliary with the main volume for the stereo. We have deadlocks so that you can lock and unlock the car doors from the outside. And just here you'll see the CD player for the stereo itself. Below that we then have the air conditioning. So you can adjust the temperature, the fan speed and the direction the air is being distributed in. Once you're happy with those settings, uh, you can turn your air conditioning on and off from this button just here. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly depending on the temperature you've set here. Beneath that we have a 12 volt charging socket the auxiliary input, which I mentioned just a moment ago, and then a five-speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.